Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how to copy files to or from a USB device such as a pen drive or an external hard drive in Windows 10. So first of all, all you need to do is click on the start button there and then just click on the little folder just there that says documents. Once that window's opened, click on this PC just on the left here. Now, at this point, make sure that your USB drive is unplugged. And now I want you to plug it in. And when you plug it in, keep an eye on the screen. I want to know what icon appears on the screen. This is very important so that we know where to copy things to and from. So I'm just gonna plug my USB device in now. And here we go, I've plugged it in. So keep an eye on the screen. And as you can see on mine, USB storage, and in brackets, it says F colon has appeared. That is the name of our USB drive, USB storage F. Now yours will be different. So that's why I say keep an eye on this, the screen and obviously make a note of whatever appears on there. Just the name, just there. Okay, so. If we wanted to copy things to the USB device, say if I wanted to copy some pictures. So let's just go into my pictures folder just up here. This is the pictures folder on the PC. Okay, and I want to copy this picture here to the pen drive or the USB storage device. So all I do is I just click on the picture and then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. Go down to send to, and then we wanna look for, in my case, USB storage F, there it is. Left click that, and that will now send a copy of that picture to my USB device while still leaving it on the computer. If I wanna check it, I can just click on USB storage F there, or whatever yours is called, and there's the picture just there. If I want to see the picture, then I can just double click on that file there, or I can click on view and then click on large icons there. And there you go. I can see a little thumbnail of it. If I wanted to copy a folder to the USB drive, then let's just go back to pictures just on the left here. That's the pictures on my computer. And say if I want to copy all of these photos just here, I can click on this folder once, okay, and then click the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, go down to send to, look out for my USB drive, there you go, mine's USB storage F, left click that, and that will copy across. Once that box has gone, there you go, that's copied across. So let's just check it, so I go to USB storage F, just on the left hand side there, left click once on that, and there you go there's my folder. If I wanted to copy more than one file or folder across, I can do that just by holding down the CTRL key or the control key. That's the key in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard. Keep that held down whilst you're clicking on what you want to select. So I've just selected that and that. Okay. And then let go of the CTRL key. Right click on any one of those that you've selected. Okay. And then when this menu appears, go down to send to and then find your USB drive and then left click once. And that will copy the files that are selected across to the USB drive. I'll just go and check that just by clicking on my storage device there. And there we go, there it is there, and there it is there. Now just to show you, if I already try to copy something across that's on the uh, USB drive, then uh, let's just, just right click on that picture just there, go to send to, and then USB storage F. Uh, that is, like I say, that picture is already on my drive and it'll come up and it'll warn me. So it will say to me here, the destination already has a file named and it'll give you the, the file name. And it says, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna replace it? So if you've updated that file, then you can replace it. If it's already on there, then you can just click skip file. Or if you wanna compare info for both files, you can just click that, compare info. And as I can see there from the size, the dates, the times they are exactly the same. So I can just cancel that and then go skip this file. 
Okay, same with folders. If I click on a folder there and this one's already on the pen drive, so I've just right clicked on it, go down to send to, go to USB storage and left click once and there you go. So it's basically saying that um, there's already a file there. If I click skip, then uh, it will skip all the files there. Now, what if I wanted to copy files from the pen drive to my computer? Now, I can do that by, like I say, once again, clicking on the start button just down there in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Click on the documents folder just there, like so, and then click this PC just on the left there. And now I want to plug my USB device in, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I've just plugged it in, and here we go, it's made the right noises, and there you go, it's just appeared there. So make a note of what's just appeared. So in my case, like I say, once again, it's USB storage F. So double click on that, and then, okay, so say I want to copy this picture back to pictures. So what I can do is I can move my mouse over it, click the right mouse button, the button on the right hand side of the mouse. And this time I have to go down to copy. So I left click copy. Okay, I go to wherever I want to copy it to. So it would be sensible to put it in pictures as it is a picture. So I left click pictures there on the left. And then what I do is I find an empty area here, click the right mouse button again, go down to paste and left click on paste. And there you go, that's copied that across. If I want to go back and copy some more, I can go back to USB storage F just there. And say if I wanted to copy a folder, so I want to copy this folder here. So again, click on it once, okay. And then right click, then go down to copy, left click, okay. And then go down to the pictures folder. Again, because it's more pictures, it would be sensible to copy these into the pictures folder. Let's left click on pictures just there. Find an empty area, click on the right mouse button, and then click on paste. And across will come the folder. There we go. Now, say if I want to copy more than one thing across, I can go to U my USB storage again. So I go back to the pen drive, okay, and I just click on the first thing that I want to uh, to copy across, and then I hold down the CTRL key or Control key. That's the key in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard. Keep that held down, and then I just select this other file here, and then let go of the CTRL key, and then right click on any one of those that I've just selected. Then move your mouse down to copy, left click once, and then go back to the pictures folder or whatever folder you want to go to. So I'm just going to click pictures and then click the right mouse button and then click paste. And there you go, that's pasted them across. And the same thing applies if you try to copy a file or a folder that's already on the computer. So let's just do that. I'm just going to copy this one. So copy, go to pictures and then go to paste and there you go if I try putting it in the same spot it says the destination already has a file named blah 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 so do you want to replace it do you want to skip it or do you want to compare info for both files so I'm just going to skip that and the same thing will happen for a folder as well so if I try copying that folder across back to pictures and paste it in there there we go it says it's already got a file in there with the same name so there you go, that's a sort of a quick overview of how you can copy and paste pictures in Windows 10. Hope this guide helps and thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.